airclips.com. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Nairobi International Airport. I'm Patrick, and you're watching Airclips with another stunning episode of our ultimate cockpit movies. In the backdrop here, you see the awesome DC 930 freighter, quite a classic, operated by cargo specialist Astral Aviation, having its main base here at Jumbo Kenyatta International Airport of Nairobi. Welcome on board, Patrick. Uh, my name is George, uh, captain on this flight today, and uh, ably assisted by my first officer, Hiren. And today we'll be flying out of uh, Nairobi Jomo Kenyatta. Uh, it's a beautiful day to go flying. Uh, we are flying the McDonnell Douglas from a McDonnell Douglas DC 9. And our routing today, our first stop will be in Tanzania, capital of Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, uh, where we'll drop uh, half of our cargo and then we'll proceed uh, from Dar es Salaam onwards to Beira, Mozambique. Our flight down from Nairobi, in the first sector will be one hour, Nairobi to uh, Dar es Salaam, and from Dar es Salaam to Beira, approximately one and a half hours. We're preparing to do our walk around checks, so uh, come along and I'll show you the features, external features of the DC-9. Inspect the gear doors, they're firmly in place, and uh, look at the nose, uh, taxi and landing light, the nose, we have one bright and one dim. Okay, come around this side. Check the nose, gear doors are closed. Come around here. We have our main static port. Make sure it's not obstructed. Our portable water service access panel is closed. Okay. Come down here, you've got a VHF aerial. Just make sure it's in good condition. We come here and we inspect the main, right main landing gear. Good condition. Check everything looks all right. Landing gear door is firm. Then we come here and we look inside. This is where the uh, landing gear uh, retracts into. The landing gear base. Let's check it's in good condition. This is our refueling panel. Our engineer, Julio, has just completed the refueling. Okay, if you want to look at the panel, you can come around this way. And uh, Julio, that's, that's the refueling panel for the DC-9. Okay. And today we are lifting uh, 24,000 pounds of fuel for a trip to Dar es Salaam and onwards to Beira. Okay, come around this way. This is the right aileron of the DC-9. One feature I like about the DC-9, the wing is low enough uh, compared to other commercial jets that you can actually reach the control surfaces just as where, you, where you're standing. With other aircrafts, you cannot do that. So you can actually do a very thorough pre-flight check. Uh, you can hear now how loud the APU is <laughs> as you're standing below it. So you come this way, Okay, now check the general condition of the tail section of the DC-9. Make sure everything is in order and where it's supposed to be. Elevators, rudder. Engineers have initially done their pre-flight inspection before we got here. I'm going to 
Okay, you're good. Ready? Here we go. Checked. Okay, starting number two checked. Okay, valve open, there's a pressure drop. N2, hydraulic pressure. Oil pressure. Check. Fail slow. Light up. N1. Check. Yes. Engine number two. Engine number two is stable. Check. Okay. Start number engine number one. Check. Valve open. Pressure drop. Light up. Five percent. Astro cargo zero five zero taxi via Golf before kilo tower one one eight. Golf and uh, below ki uh, before kilo uh, eighteen uh, seven. Thank you. Okay, clear left. Clear right. Check. Okay, slats and flaps fifteen. Slats and fifteen. Astro cargo zero five zero. Cruise right. Three zero zero three. Clear for takeoff zero six. Clear for takeoff zero six. Astro cargo zero five zero. Lights. Okay, lights are on. We put the time as uh, five. Okay, make it take off zero five five zero. Right turn out, direct gaps. Right turn out, direct gaps initially. Okay, those are locked. Locked. Ready. Ready. Thank you. Two engines stable. Check. Take off thrust. Take off thrust set. A speed alive. Check. 80 knots. 80 knots. V1. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Two and back. Two and back. Heading uh, one six zero. After. After.
Kilimanjaro. Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> Kilimanjaro? Yeah. Ah, nice. I'm gonna go right, right next to it. I've been flying from Kenya so many times and every time the crew told me, it's such a pity, today we are far away from Kilimanjaro. <laughs> <laughs> You're so unlucky. But finally I got it. Yeah. At last. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a clear day, it's totally clear. It's super beautiful. Yeah. So we have this system, that yeah. little phone. Oh yeah. A satellite phone and it's paired to the iPad. Okay. So we can s send messages to the company. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's got to be the most modern feature on the aircraft. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the iPad. <laughs> yes. Everything else is like, you know, just the way the plane was built. <laughs> this plane is, what is it, 1974? Beautiful. Yeah. 1974. And this, I think one of the last generation DC-9, it had... It even had auto throttle, had quite a bit of automation. Nice. So it's just before the MD80 series came up. Now that's a view here. It's nice, huh? Wow. Did you ever climb up yourself? I, <laughs> I used to climb. I used to be a very fanatic climber. Oh yeah. This is. I came twice. Really? In the early like early 2000s. Okay, we are crossing a border from Kenya into Tanzania. Uh -huh. We just checked a beam uh, Mount Kilimanjaro approaching our cruising altitude of 27,000 feet. Okay, and uh, from Dar es Salaam we'll be on ground approximately one and a half hours as we uh, offload cargo. And then we'll proceed down southbound and cross the border into Mozambique. Our destination in Mozambique is Beira. Uh, which is the capital of the northern region of Mozambique. And, uh, normally we do carry a lot of vaccines on board to most of our destinations, uh, especially Tanzania, southern Sudan and Somalia. Okay. Yes. Uh, where do you do simulator training? Are there still uh, lots of DC-9 simulators in the world? Or? No, not really. Uh, we do it at, uh, in South Africa. South Africa? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's convenient. In fact, we, <laughs> we, we use the MD-80 sim. Oh, you can use the MD-80s? Yeah, it's authorized, so uh, it's very similar. Oh, good. The only s difference is uh, avionics. Everything yeah. else is the same. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. that's, that's very interesting. So, yeah, it's exactly the same. Uh, 1,000 feet to level. Checked. Slats on five. Slats on five. Next height, 3,000. 3,000. Clear for the approach. Call him established, huh? Yes, checked. Uh, landing gear down. Ready, get out. Tikas. Landing. Check. Class fifteen. Where's up? Two lights, four lights. One point six.
80 knots. Manual braking. Be careful, we don't have pushback. Oh, yeah. Ah, because we'll have to do it. They don't have pushback, so you have to roll yeah. out. Ah. Oh, he knows he's aware. He knows, okay, yeah. good. He, he can't put us on the line. <laughs> All right. Okay, welcome to Dar es Salaam. We are finally on ground in Dar es Salaam. A uh, bit of stormy weather today, off to the southeast uh, of Dar es Salaam, but there uh, was no factor for our arrival here today. Uh, we are floating, uh, we floated one pallet uh, of cargo for Dar es Salaam and then we are refueling as you can see on the right side of the aircraft and then shortly we'll be de departing for Beira. We'll now be flying at 28,000 feet, flight time approximately 1 hour 45 minutes. Slot 15. Slot 15. Alpha Charlie Papa 032, wind 180 degrees, 06 knot, runway 23, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 23, I'll still cover 032. Okay, okay for checks complete, windows locked. Checked, windows locked. Stable. Stable. So take off thrusts. Take off thrust is set. Airspeed alive. Check. V1. Rotate. Gear Positive up. Climb. Gear up. <laughs> heading and pitch. Water heading pitch. My first job was in uh, general aviation. Which aircraft did you fly uh, there? Okay, I started at Wilson Airport in Nairobi. Wilson, nice. Yes, Wilson Airport in Nairobi. My first commercial aircraft was a Cessna 172. Uh, and then after a few months, I graduated to the Cessna 182. I had the privilege of flying the Cessna 206. Then I graduated to the Cessna 210. Okay. And then I started flying the multi engine twin piston uh, aircrafts. Okay. Side with the Cessna 310. And then I moved on to the Beach Baron. Uh, Bravo Echo 55 and 58 Barons. And then from there I flew the Cessna 402. Okay. I flew the Cessna 404. And then I had the privilege of flying the great Cessna caravan oh nice yes nice airplane huh yeah beautiful okay, and uh, from then I changed companies in Wilson Airport I moved to another company where I was flying the Baron 55s Beach Baron 55 Cessna caravan and then I moved on to the de Havilland Twin Otter okay and eventually flew my last aircraft at Wilson Airport General Aviation yeah, my last aircraft at Wilson Airport yeah. was a four-engine Bombardier Dutch 7. Oh, at Air Kenya? Yes, Air Kenya. Wow, nice. Another classic, classic aircraft. Classic one, yeah. Yes. 
Oh, that's nice. That must Can have been fun to fly, yeah? Yes. Excellent. Performance monster. Excellent. And I did ratings on the uh, Boeing 767, Boeing 737. I uh, ended up flying the DC-9s until today for the last maybe coming up to nearly 16, 17 years. Wow. And yes. the 767, 737, for which companies the did you fly those? That was uh, for East African Safari Express before they wound down. They ah, eventually okay. closed. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately we didn't do much flying on those aircraft. Okay, yeah. Uh, then uh, the company East African had DC-9s. There are two DC-9s. So they moved us to the DC-9s. Okay. When they got rid of the 767. So nice with the Astro Cargo now four years flying the DC nine, very interesting. Things. Oh yeah, what, uh, what the mirror? What's that? There's another one here, the mirror. Most people think it's oh, you know, we want to look good. Yeah, <laughs> some <And> makeup. <laughs> is, your, is your makeup okay? No, the interesting thing, top right corner there. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a mirror. Yeah, there is a mirror. Yeah, that's where the magnetic compass is. No way. So we want to see or use or check the magnetic compass we have to align these two mirrors so it's like double it's mirrored yes that's another very unique feature that's a nice feature of the dc9 yeah. that's super unique yeah very interesting so while captain george and first officer here are uh, already preparing our descent into mozambique up front i didn't want to miss my chance to pay a little visit to the cargo hold here in this DC 930 CF, which has emptied a little bit. It's possible to walk back and forth. Obviously, the closer you go back to the rear, uh, the louder it gets. And um, since it's a um, cargo configuration, there's a lot of noise isolation missing. So the, the cabin here, as opposed to the flight deck, is pretty, pretty loud. But while they are busy, and I don't want to disturb them up front on the flight deck, I thought I'd give you some history on this airframe and for doing so I have to cheat a little bit because I did a bit of homework. Um, this aircraft was built in April 1976 so right at this point in time it is 46 years old and um, it has been originally delivered to Aviaco um, which uh, used to be a subsidiary of Iberia, um, Spanish Airlines. And then in um, September 1999, after um, around 25 years, quarter of a decade serving Aviaco, it was transferred to the mother company Iberia Airlines. Well, um, with these two operators, uh, it had, of course, a passenger configuration uh, with uh, 110 seats combined in business and economy. And the aircraft had a name back then. It was christened Pedro de Alvarado. I found out that Pedro de Alvarado was um, a Spanish conquistador and he was renowned for his skill as a soldier but also known for his cruelty of his treatment of the native population. Is that qualifying you for an aircraft being named after you? Really? I mean right now this aircraft doesn't have a Christian name. Maybe that's an idea for the CEO of Astral. What about of what about Peace Bird to compensate for that history with Iberia? Okay. Top of D17 nautical miles to the uh, initial approach fix. Leaving level 280 for 3300. Uh, maneuver speed. Speed cut. About 15. 15. Approaching 3,000. Uh, 
Alright, uh, runway in sight. A fam. Landing gear down. Gear up. Plus 20. One white, three red. Non standard, four red. Checked. Sit, 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 sit. Spoilers deployed. Yeah. Two lights. Four lights. 1 1.8, 1.6. 1.6. 80 knots. 80 knots. Manual braking. 60 knots. Check. Taxi lights can go off. Okay guys, here we are back in the aircraft after a delicious lunch at the airport and more important after delivering all the goods, uh, most of them UNICEF articles for the ones in need here. Um, thank you very much for a pleasant short um, Mozambique experience here but now um, we will be flying so back. Now we are empty, we don't have cargo, so we can demonstrate the maximum performance uh, take off and climb of the DC-9. Where is the stable? Check. So take off first. Take off first sight. V1. Rotate. Positive clap. Uh, gear up. Clean up speed. Clean up speed. Check clean up speed. Gear up speed. 163. Check. 400. Stand by. Uh, Heading pitch. Heading pitch. Heading pitch six. One thousand. Okay, Clean up one six three. So claim trust. Ostrov Cargo zero three three. Beira approach. Airborne uh, Shamat one three five six. Where was the climb right? I couldn't really I, see oh, it, it while it I was it filming. It said at two thousand. Yeah. By the time we cleaned up, it went to three thousand. Yeah. Three thousand. Yeah. This one does about three. 
20. Nice. Not like the MD. MD, 4, maybe more. MD yeah, 80. Yeah, it's a classic aircraft. Yeah. 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 But nice. the Series 10 DC-9s also, you know, they were much lighter. Yeah. Oh, that one would climb. Ah. Yeah, you'd ah, get yeah, more the short than 4,000. Yes. Same engines and... Uh, and very yeah. light. Uh, yeah. yeah. Iren, may I also ask you some questions? Uh, yeah. Not too difficult ones. <laughs> not too difficult ones. Okay, now some mathematic questions. No. Oh, he's go he's oh, he'll tell you. <laughs> he'll tell you his story about mathematics. <laughs> so tell me. He's got a story after he's done. Uh, okay, he'll tell, tell me. Your personal no, story. Math was my best subject. Uh, mathematics Same? was my best subject. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's um. So I enjoy the calculations. You got a <laughs> scholarship? Did you? Yeah, you I got. A, did yeah, you I go? Got, yeah, I got a good uh, overall. Is it wow. Ca Cambridge or? Yes, yes. A level, Edexel. Oh, not bad. Yes, yes. And so you said that your story uh, in aviation is almost as long as the no, ones of Captain George. No, it's very I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> Tell me. Well, I did initially my flying here, uh, my PPL here in Kenya, mm -hmm. and then I went to the US to pursue my commercial uh, then I came back here did my conversion after I finished my commercial I worked as a flight instructor okay yeah for a few months to build some hours and experience uh -huh. on the 150s and the 152s uh, after that uh, I moved to the Cessna caravan the sorry you to the Cessna caravan I am yeah so most of my hours uh, uh, general aviation, bush flying. Okay. Yes, on the caravan. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, first airline job. And from the caravan, I've straightly straight moved up to the DC nine. Okay. <laughs> yes. So big step. Very, a lot to learn. So how long ago was that this step? Uh, well, I joined uh, Astral about late last year. Mid last year. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So well, how nice that you can start on a classic uh, airplane. Oh yes, it, it's, it's a good step for me to get used to with the, the, the jet aircraft itself and with the instruments and hopefully in the future. Basic flying, huh? Yes, yes, back to basic flying. So another 26 miles, 26 we go into uh, Malawi airspace. Oh, Malawi airspace, yeah. Yes. So where are we right now geographically? Okay, that's Beira, where we departed. Okay. This is all... Mozambique and this is Malawi uh-huh yeah so we've just checked Victor Tango Zulu on the airway we turn right heading north okay northeast uh, heading for Lilongwe so in another 21 miles we'll cross over into Malawi okay yes. nice yeah. and Lilongwe was the capital of uh, Malawi right? yes yeah uh, looks a bit cloudy ahead, but if Maybe we can clear see whether you might be able to see it. Alright, 40 minutes. <laughs> Another 40 minutes will be dead. It's, uh, it's anticipating your great landing. Let's hope. You want to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, for sinking the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, two white, two red. Checked. Speed check. Plus 20. Shoot. Plus 20. Landing. Checked. Oil is deployed. Two lights. Four lights. One point six. Eighty knots. Manual braking. Sixty knots. Check. And now you. 
Wow, Astra 747, Astra everything here. Yeah. 76 should have departed. Oh yeah? I think it did, yeah. Well, which airline is that? I'm not sure. Uh, I can see, uh, I've never seen that. And then you see this white 727. And the white 727 is That's safe here, right? Safe here, yeah. yes. online chips Patrick welcome back to Nairobi very happy you could join us and I hope you enjoy the flight we really look forward to flying with you again it's a beautiful evening here in Nairobi today and I'm sure the videos will be fantastic thank, thank you. you very much thank you Captain George thank, thank you so much thank you Irene Thank you, Patrick. Okay. Long day, but uh, worth it. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a good summary. Airclips.com.